Hi guys, welcome back to another edition of Pro Hire Truck TV. Today we find ourselves over in Sheffield at a company called Magtech. Now Magtech are really one of the, the most ingenious electric component manufacturers that I've ever come across and really really massively into electric vehicles and I've been here a few times over the years and really for me I want to come back today and see how that's developed and look at something which is sort of a game changer in the 7 out on um, electric vehicle market. Now I, I first set out on the journey of electric vehicles many years ago in 2006 and the world has come a long way since then but this is going to be a, a really interesting thing today for us all to see how much we can get out now of a vehicle that's slightly larger than the norm. We normally look at smaller vehicles, this is the first time we start to move into the larger sector. So let's go inside and have a look at this vehicle and see what we've come up with. So we've been allowed inside the Magtech um, workshops and to, to have a look at one of the, the vehicles that's just been completed at 7.5 tonnes. And the last time I came here, I've probably said in previous videos, or the first time I, I, I did some electric vehicles, was back in 2006. And I came back in, into, I came in 2006, I was back again in 2014 and 15, and we're back again in 2020. And, and actually, to be fair, the technological changes, technological changes that have been made in that period are, are quite startling, even though you can't see it from the outside in a lot of cases. And what I wanted to do with this was actually show you some of those things where you get a feel for it firsthand before we take a vehicle out on the road and give you a feel for what that looks like today. And of course, you know, all of these vehicles, um, as I always say, are available from, from Pro Hire on, on, on Contract Hire. Well, let's have a quick look at some of these things and, and, and try and point out some um, details you might find interesting. So to all intents and purposes, this is a, a fairly standard um, Isuzu 7.5 tonne chassis. And, and, and kind of, in, in, in all essence, that's where the similarity ends. This vehicle has had all of the ancillary and, and standard equipment removed. So your, your gearbox has been removed, the, the engine has been removed, and, and all of the, the radiator and cooler systems have been taken away from this vehicle. Now, talking to the managing director this morning, here it looks like there'll be um, a new platform set up in the near future which will give um, chassis cabs called gliders coming into this situation where actually they won't come with any of these things on them which instead of taking them off and packaging them up and sending them back to, to the manufacturer then they end up coming already in, in the state they need to be. But back here and, and under, the, under there is your, is your motor um, and, and really your motor gearbox combined which gives you your, your um, ability to drive forward. Now, all of these things and we can get really into these these these, these elements on, a, on another another video or certainly if you want more information we'd be happy to do that we can get into the, the, the technicalities of these in, in, in greater detail should you require this battery pack um, a lithium-ion battery pack um, using um, Japanese cells is an 80 kilowatt pack and, and will produce um, enough power to propel this vehicle along for about 140 kilometers just so you are aware, uh, this pack weighs about 400 kilos, but what it does do is if you look at either side of the chassis here, we have the ability to add another 40 um, and 40 either side, which will give you um, a range, of, so one more 40 will give you a range of something in the region of 200 kilometers and 240 respectively, which makes it a very interesting piece of equipment for range um, and, and um, usability on a day-to-day -day basis. So. Roughly um, 140 kilometres, right up to 240 if that's what you want. So moving further on, you've got the controllers, the power packs and the, all of the, 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 the systems and electronics. And at the very front, um, we've got its own cooling system, which isn't designed to cool, um, obviously, the engine anymore. It's designed to cool all this electronics and, of course, the, the motor, which you can imagine will get extremely warm. Now, just, just finally, this, this particular model has had um, uh, an aftermarket uh, air conditioning system fitted, um, which is you'll see here is the, uh, the, the, the cooling system the condenser, and on the, the other side to the rear of the cab, you'll find your um, air conditioning pump, which again have been fitted afterwards and, and fitted by MagTech. Right, what I suggest we do is let's go out and look at um, and take one of these uh, lovely vehicles for a test drive and see what we think. 
So also what I wanted to mention while um, we're talking about this is the extremely clever way that Magtech use for their charging systems. Quite, quite a lot of um, electric vehicles out there, you'll have to work on DC charging, and in fact most of them will have to work on DC charging, direct current for, for charging your vehicles. In lots of cases, um, in fact most people don't have DC particularly on place, and that can be an extremely expensive part of it extremely expensive part of of establishing your electric credentials you know and can be 10 15 20 and up to a hundred thousand pounds depending where you are and most people don't really factor this in however magtech have taken this um, a step further and inbuilt into their vehicle is an ability to come straight from your standard wall socket on three phase and into your vehicle and by using a, a clever system on board they have the ability to check straight into the plug socket here and this is plugged straight into a three-phase socket in this building which in fairness is, is extremely innovating and I have to say pretty smart um, and really does have the ability to save a lot of money and allow you to use this vehicle in any situation that's got a three-phase supply and literally saving thousands of pounds so really well done my tech right we've just got into this here uh, electric isuzu um let's get belted up as we always do um and let's see if we can push some buttons and make this work you may have noticed i am back wearing my uh, my mask again um bear in mind we're trying to keep um everything socially distanced as possible um back with our camera lady on board today um, and we'll give this uh, a good shout. So, look, a few details on the vehicle. Um, standardised Uzi chassis cab, um, complete with the Magtrek drivetrain. Now, don't know what it's going to be like. Um, we'll uh, push this here a few buttons and, and let's see if we can get it started. Um, or for it to, to move forward, shall I say. Um, I, guess, I guess to a certain degree, um, fairly standard layout as you'd expect in, inside a, an, an Isuzu chassis um, with some discernible differences up here um, on the on the front console you can see how much of the um, battery is remaining and that gives you a feel for it as you're going along um, this uh, particular system has inbuilt um, telematics and inbuilt um, regen which again are both extremely useful for the electric world so if we uh, I've got the ignition turned on, um, uh, there's something happening. Are we going forward? Not sure is that me? We go down. So here we go. Uh, we've turned the ignition on. Things are powering up. Um, if we push it into forward. Let's see if we actually go. Oh, we're going forward. Well done, yeah. Um, unlike the um, 3.5 tonners uh, or, la or smaller uh, vehicles, shall we say, there seems to be there's clearly um, a fair bit more um, electric type of noises, but really very smooth, I have to say. Um, again, really excited to be driving something which, again, fundamentally is, is not only well designed and well thought out. It's really green and really quick. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Yeah, very, very quiet now. Um, we're up to a, the quality of vehicle where, to a certain degree, there is absolutely no noise. And, and you know, I've driven a lot of um, Isuzus over the past uh, few years, and, and this is by far the, the smoothest Isuzu that I've ever been in. So realistically for me, um, today is about really re-engaging with, with, with both Magtech um, for both ourselves and our clients, but also making sure that the, the technology that's being used now is as up to date as it possibly can be. And, and I'm very confident that um, you know, the, the guys we've been speaking to today, the product is, 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 is something pretty amazing to be honest. And if you look at the 7.5 tonner here, um, with a payload on this 7.5 ton box fan of, of, of more than oh, just under three and a half tons which is pretty amazing 
And as I touched on earlier on, this this, this particular vehicle is 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 fitted with um, an 80 kilo a kilo hour power pack, which should give um, a range of um, 85 miles, which is around about 140 kilometres or so. You know, it's pretty 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 decent range, I have to say. Um, and on modern urban round town work, you know, has a an ability to match pretty much most people's expectations. That being said, the, the ability for this is two twofold. Of course, if you have um, um, a job at the moment that that's suitable for, for for that kind of range, then that's that's fantastic. However, a lot of the clients I speak to are worried about how their job changes in the future. Of course, and and are they an ability to? change the range of their vehicle or does this vehicle become obsolete because all of a sudden they need to do 180 kilometers a day or they move depots and of course one of the great things with this particular vehicle unlike some of the OEMs is you can absolutely upgrade the battery power so you could put another 40 kilowatt hour battery pack on this um, reasonably easily um, to increase your range to say 200 kilometers so you've got, you've got a, a, an, an, an element of future proofing with, built in within this vehicle, which which again is, is is pretty decent. Now, because it's got such an amazing payload, you know, you've got an ability to do that for the cost of around 200 kilos. So if 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 that's that's the, bear in mind to remember that. But the, but that 200 kilos, or suddenly gives you another 60 ki um, uh, kilometers a day. That's a pretty decent trade-off, um, and that's. You know, really, really, really clever, 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 clever way of working. So, really comfortable with that. So, we we're now on, um, you know, a dual carriageway, and I wanted to try and give you a bit of a feel for for what it's like on handling um, and pulling power. It, it's it's pretty decent, I have to say. But one of the things that um, I will say is is it kind of maxes out around around 50 miles an hour, which probably isn't a bad thing anyway. Uh, downhill, get a bit more. Certainly, um, as you go uphill, up, up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, as you go uphill, it does lose a little bit of that bite that it has in the in the lower gears. But that's not a bad thing. It's just uh, just to be aware of. And I think you know, realistically, 50 miles an hour is it's an urban urban delivery vehicle. So I suppose you're going to you're going to be pretty pretty okay with that. You know, it's probably the only thing I can say negative about the vehicle currently. We've been in the vehicle for about an hour now, and um, we're going to head back to uh, Magtex UK, uh, UK head office um, to hand them their, their beautiful vehicle back. The great thing about having um, this kind of range is they're not gonna, I'm not going to be able to flatten it today as I've done in other vehicles, but we are going to have this vehicle back or a vehicle like it um, very soon. And we're going to do um, another video, which what we'll do is, as we've always done, is actually test out the theory of, of the range that we're being promised. So we will do that for you, as we've done with others. Um, and I'm hoping that we, we get somewhere close to the ranges that we've been, we've been promised when we do that. But that's going to be in the next few weeks, so we'll, we'll keep you posted on that. So one thing that I would always ask, please subscribe to our channel if you can. It keeps us... Um, it keeps us going, keeps us entertained, and keep it. I know we find some entertainment for you. But uh, we're going to head back now, and um, we'll pick up the pieces when we get back. So that's uh, brought our little episode with the the Magtech team to to a close today. And and I have to say, you know, a great experience with the vehicle. And, and as I said in, in in the conversation, one of the things for me is taking it on a on a another extended run, and we're going to have that in a few weeks' time to to take it for, for a long run and actually flatten it and, and, and genuinely qualify the mileage for you. On pricing, we normally touch on pricing and most of these things. On this one, it's quite difficult to, to ascertain in as much as it's specification specific. These are bespoke vehicles that we can build around you as a company. What, I, what I'm gonna suggest with that is, is if you have any interest in, in this kind of vehicle, we'll do a presentation for you, ascertain the mileage, do the surveys that you require, which we do as part of the package on electric anyway. And build a vehicle around you and the pricing structure will, will, will suit you vis-a-vis -vis if you wanted 60 kilowatt batteries, 80, 120, it makes a huge difference on pricing. So it becomes a, a mute point. But one thing to say is, is I hope you've enjoyed it, um, our, our interlude into the 7.5 ton market today. 
Um, we will continue to, to bring you more detail on this. Please subscribe if you get an opportunity, like if you can, and, and I hope you uh, stay safe and uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care.